In case you missed this play from Lakers guard Malik Monk. So Malik Monk has gotten some extra minutes with LeBron in and out of the lineup with the Lakers over the last couple weeks. So the Lakers were in San Antonio to take on the Spurs, and it was a good one. Spurs up 12 towards the end of the third, but the Lakers would make a run. Check out Westbrook, head to the cup, getting the deuce to go. Now Westbrook finding AD who finds the bottom of the net for the long mid-range jump shot. Check out Malik Monk, though, passing it to Brody, who knocks down the three. So like I said, Malik Monk got the start in place of LeBron, who was out due to a lower leg injury. And Malik Monk took advantage of his minutes. As this game nears its finale, the Lakers need a bucket. Down one with a minute to go. Who they call on? It's AD. It's Brody. No, it's Monk with the big time three pointer to give the Lakers the lead and they would go on to beat the Spurs in San Antonio. Now, Lakers got out to a great start against Oklahoma City Thunder. In large part due to this play, Malik Monk firing up LA with a monster jam. Check this one out one more again. Contavious Caldwell Pope to Monk who throws it down. So as we enter the about the 10 game point in the season, my question to you guys, is of the Lakers reserves, who has the chance of being the most impactful? Will it be Ken Bazemore? Will it be the aforementioned Malik Monk? Could it be one of the guys who are yet to make their season debut, like Kendrick Nunn, Trevor Reza? Let me know. What do you think about this Lakers rotation, and what do you think about Malik Monk's potential? He's my guy. He's the guy that I believe can step up and be one of the missing pieces for Los Angeles on a championship run. Let me know who you think it is.